Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Pastor Benedict James. Greetings in the most majestic name of Jesus Christ. For today's morning devotion, let us discuss on this topic, file it a word, anger, how it affects a personal life, a spiritual life, a professional life, and how we lose joy, peace, health, and happiness. And is there a way to overcome? Let's read from the Word of God. Proverbs 19, 19. A man of great wrath will suffer punishment. Proverbs 14, 17. A quick-tempered person acts foolishly. Here are a few quotes. I feel anger is a wasted emotion. I don't like to waste emotions. Jim Webbs. When anger rises, think of the consequences. Confucius. You will not be punished for your anger, but you will be punished by your anger. Anonymous. The sharpest sword in the world is the word spoken in wrath. Anger dwells only in the bosom of fools. Albert Einstein. Anger is a momentary madness. So control your passion or it will control you. Whether we like it or not, whether we admit or not, anger is part of our lives, but it varies in degrees. Some control it and for some it is beyond their control. One of my friends says, one of his relatives is too good as a person and has several amazing qualities very passionate and active in Christian and social works, but he says he's too quick to react and too often has his outbursts. So this one thing, anger, has stolen his entire happiness and peace and most importantly, his name is tarnished. Anger is a powerful emotion. If it is not handled appropriately, it will have destructive results for both. A soft answer Turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up destructive anger. Uncontrolled anger can lead us to arguments, physical fires, physical abuse, assaults, and self harm. Oh, how many families are in friction because of this file to word anger? On the other hand, a well managed anger can be a useful emotion that motivates us to make positive and smooth changes. Well, volumes are written on this subject by several authors as how to stem this anger, but in vain. Seldom we put efforts in biblical way to control anger. We need to fill ourselves with the divine word which alone can tame anger and become and uh, emulate the qualities of Christ. It can be done only by abiding in the word, especially apart from our daily devotions, reading few verses daily in a systematic way from the book of Proverbs will do a world of good for us. Lord help us to keep our emotions in check and keep our anger in control so that we can have a good testimony in the society. Give us your strength to overcome this evil, to live a peaceable and healthy life. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's devotional. God bless you. Have a blessed day. And always remember, Jesus loves you and cares for you.